Huge thank you to Atlanta JDM for making this video possible. If you are looking to buy a Japanese domestic market vehicle here in the United States, visit Atlanta JDM. All their information will be found in the description below. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1996 Daihatsu Hijet. Behind me is a 660cc three cylinder engine as well as a five speed manual transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here high jet for two reasons. First of all, this is my first ever Daihatsu. I've never reviewed a Daihatsu before because they were never sold in America. I've actually been to a Daihatsu dealer in Haiti, but not here in America. So I'm excited to knock Daihatsu off my list. But before we get on with the rest of the video, if you are looking to help out the channel, there are a couple links in the description below from our awesome sponsors. One of which is Cash for Cars if you're looking to sell your used car. One is from Fixed, a Bluetooth OBD2 sensor to help diagnose your vehicle. And another from Conplates. Conplates is a suction cup license plate mount for your vehicle in case you don't want to drill into your front bumper. Each purchase or quote goes towards helping the channel and it's greatly appreciated. So let's get on with the video. So let's get back to that three cylinder that is behind me. Well, it doesn't make a whole lot of horsepower. This is not a fast or quick vehicle. All right, here we go. Yeah, driving suspension wise, I'm very surprised. It is very smooth, which you wouldn't think for a small vehicle like this and let alone a dump truck, it's actually very, very smooth to drive. And that is because it conforms to what is needed to be considered a K car. So a K car is a classification of vehicle in Japan that gives you a tax break if it's within a certain dimensions as well as under 660 cc's you get a tax break plus parking is cheaper it just makes life easier and i'm showing a bunch of the k cars that i've reviewed in the past up on the screen so this is no different it has that 660 cc three cylinder engine and it is small enough to fit within the dimensions required for k vehicles like i said paired to it five speed manual transmission shifts nice and smooth clutch is super light i mean this is really a toy car so to be expected the shifter is super light super smooth super easy to drive which is really awesome last but not least this here high jet is four wheel drive with locking differentials which is awesome this vehicle has every daihatsu feature you can get besides the air conditioning. So speaking of the air conditioning, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have a speedometer, fuel gauge, and coolant temperature gauge. That's it. Very plain, very basic, and of course, that's all in kilometers. The steering wheel, again, has this funky cover on it, but it is very, very basic. It's this thick plastic, and I get the Daihatsu logo in the center, which is still so foreign to me to see but cool nevertheless. To the right of me, I have a bunch of blank switches, but then I have a not blank switch. So this is a dump truck, a hydraulic dump truck. Now, before a month ago, I had never driven a little red dump truck before, but now I've driven two with the Chang Li dump truck as well. So here's the operation for that dumper. It do be dumping. On the door, I have my latch to get in and out as well as the window crank and that's it however it does leave a fair amount of room for my knee me being a bigger guy not built for japanese cars i actually fit pretty nicely in the daihatsu which is fantastic moving into the center i have my button to lock those differentials like i said the daihatsu has locking differentials which is fabulous two climate control vents and then the climate controls themselves very very basic here nothing too crazy and again this was not optioned out to have the air conditioning moving down below that i do have a daihatsu radio with five favorite buttons tune display and that's it i get a nice cubby down below that ashtray and cigarette lighter meaning this does not have a cup holder so the daihatsu fails the big friggin bottle test then we're moving on to the shifter the shifter is aftermarket of course it's one of those bubbly tall ones and it fits with the theme of the rest of the truck but to me it looks kind of like a jolly rancher then i have my high neutral and low for the four-wheel drive settings and i have my little handbrake moving on to the seats the seats are not super comfortable they are very basic and the headrests are actually even bolted onto the back of the truck 
which is kind of funny to see. However, it's not uncomfortable while driving it. I can just imagine if I went on a road trip in a Daihatsu, I wouldn't be too pleased, but then again, I think I'd have bigger issues than just the seats. With that out of the way, we don't have any back seats, so let's hop around the back and we'll take a look at the cargo space. All right, so here we are around the back of the Daihatsu. You already saw that it does dump, but here we go. We can get a nicer look inside. This truck was actually used in Japan to haul either gravel or sand or something of the sort. Actually by a business, this was a business vehicle. Now what's interesting is right here is actually some Japanese characters. This is the company that puts the dump truck back on. So like we have here in America, you can buy a Ford F 5 million or 550 with just the cab, the chassis and nothing else. So a company actually fitted the dump truck onto it. So Daihatsu doesn't sell the dump truck portion. This was just modified to have that, which is super cool, super unique and actually makes the Daihatsu very usable for business purposes. You also have some barn doors around the back there and that's pretty much it. I love the look of it and I love the usability of the dump. Now we gotta talk about the looks and what's interesting is that this mini truck, this K truck, is actually designed to be a mini Decotora. D-E-K-O-T-O-R-A, Decotora. And it's actually a style of truck in Japan where you put these big fins on it, lots of chrome everywhere, lots of lights, low bumpers, big mud flap going across the bat. It's just a Japanese style of truck, much like down in Haiti, they have the tap taps with the beautiful art. This is a Japanese style, but it's not commonly done to a K truck. It's done to full size trucks. And so you have these 13 foot long bumpers and chrome that stretches for feet and miles. But here it's it, it's almost a tongue in cheek joke that this is a Decatur because it's like a miniature one. It's like when parents dress up their kid just like the dad and they give him like the combed over like balding hair that's kind of the joke here that being said i really like the look of it i think it's definitely unique and when i went to atlanta jdm it really caught my eye and so i really wanted to drive it but with that being said let's get to my final thoughts well i love this little thing first of all i want to compare it quickly to the chang lee that i reviewed a couple weeks ago because that was a small Asian built for the Asian domestic markets dump truck vehicle thing. This is miles and miles and miles and miles ahead of this. This isn't even in the same league as the Chang Lee. It's so easy to drive and it's actually very nice to drive. I think the shifting engagement is great. The steering is great. The power is not there. However, I don't expect it to be. I don't expect my next Starbucks coffee to keep me up for a month. You have to set your expectations properly. But I think the most in interesting thing is that this is a really well-built truck. Everything seems to fit in here properly. Is it expensive and gadgety? No, Daihatsus aren't. Daihatsus have always been an entry level vehicle. I just get a speedometer. I don't even get a tachometer. But in that simplicity comes reliability. And that's what I like. I love this little truck. This is probably one of the most unique vehicles I've driven. And how can you hate on it? It just, it looks so good. I have to give a huge thank you to Atlanta JDM here in Atlanta, Georgia. They are absolutely awesome. If you are looking to import a vehicle in the Southeast region, there's no question Atlanta JDM needs to be your first contact. If they don't have a vehicle you want in inventory, they will go out and find you one in Japan and send it your way, which is super cool. You can get the exact car that you want. They handle all the stress of importing a car, dealing with the taxes, the paperwork, blah, blah, blah. You just have to pick out the car and then come and pick it up from them. So I can't thank them enough for letting me drive the Daihatsu as well as just being an awesome importer. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care guys.